Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of October the 11th to the 17th. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. That means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will, so take it, run with it, and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. I am working with three different decks today, uh, because, and they're three different um, uh, tarot decks, because I think you're going to get a lot more information and energy forthcoming than dealing with the one deck. So uh, be patient as these are dealt out to you, because it does take time, and let's get on with your reading so starting off with uh, your first deck here let's see what we have here uh spirit what do they need to see uh no expect past present and possible future energy as well as the beginning of the week the middle of the week and the end of the week thank you okay here we go so Coming in behind you, the beginning of the week, you have the Queen of Cups in the center position, which could be the energy of the middle of the week you're feeling now, the Four of Wands, I'm loving it, and the end of the week you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, let's see what we have here for our center position here this week, and our crossing over energy. Okay, so this is my cue to cut the deck. Sorry about that. There's a dog out there. And now I've got George barking. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Moon. And you have the Three of Cups. Okay. I'm liking this. Now, you're, the bottom of this reading here, below you, let's see what we have here for your week. There, there's my cue. Cut the deck. Let's see what we have. Okay, so coming in behind you, you have the, <clears throat> wow, Six of Wands, I like it. And you have the Temperance, and you have the Five of Cups. Okay, let's see what we've got here for our All Over Energy card. What do we have here, Spirit? What do they need to see, know, expect, past, present, and possible future energy? What is the All Over Energy for them this week? Scorpio. Here we go. What have we got? We have not for you. Hmm. Something's not for you right now. Okay. All right. What do you need to surrender to? What do you need to change? What do you need to tweak? What do you need to pay attention to to make your week work out in your favor? What is what is a message the universe is giving you? Wow, this is the first one that came out. Surrender to joy. Beautiful. Okay. I like it. And I will be clarifying this reading as well with, you know, another tarot deck, which we always use for clarification. So let's start off with our all of our energy card here, my beautiful Scorpios. You did, did get not for you. So basically, you know, here it shows a picture of, um, you know, an empty picture here, something that's not in the frame, and also a beautiful um, <laughs> uh, fortune cookie here with a message in it. And it says, nope. Nope, N-O-P-E, I'm sure that's what it says. That's not yet. That's what it says. Okay, it's very tiny print, so it's hard for me to see even with my glasses. So, okay, something here isn't ready to come, come forth. You might be wanting something. You might have been trying to get something, manifesting something here. But right now, it says you're not ready for this, okay? There's not, something is coming in as a, as a po opposite opposing energy that's not allowing you to do this but I always believe the universe sends us what we want at the perfect time so it's all about divine timing so right now it doesn't mean it's not going to happen eventually it just means right now it's not the right time for something so if you're deciding to step out and do something brand new and remember all the retrograde that's still around us. Remember the full moon coming in. Often we need to consider not doing any major, making ma any major decisions or life-changing uh, decisions or moves until after that full moon. So I do think that, you know, right now you need to consider not doing something that, that could uh, could be a risk, okay? Now your, your surrender 
card here is surrender to joy so it's a beautiful card and this is your outcome card right so a key to positive change in your life to let joy in and savor it enjoy it indulge in random acts of smiling and being happy during both the hard and the easy times. so keep surrendering to more joy so I think you know this is all about following the path of the law of attraction this is all about doing your affirmations this is all about meditating and manifesting what it is you want and actually believing you've got it so the new message I received today was I or this week I watched another uh, another woman go out there who does these things and she did the high five and she said the high five is something she did started to do a few years ago in for her mirror work in the morning and the high five says I see you I believe you um, um, and I love you so I do think that you're going to be able to do something like that that's going to bring you more joy in your life and set the pace and the energy for what your day or your week is going to be like so start off doing that at those affirmations of those meditations those manifestations for what you want this week to come in so beautiful now let's start off with what's coming in behind you could be the beginning of the week you've got the queen of cups you have the page of wands and you have the six of wands so i love that because definitely um i do think that there's opportunity coming in here i think you're taking care of yourself or other members of your family some of you this week and i think you need to uh make sure that you don't overdo and overextend your your time and your energy here you need to nurture yourself as well the queen of cups has that ability of wanting to heal the world take care of everybody she loves her family and all of that um, but sometimes she gets overworked overtaken and over you know over obsessed about doing it and so she sets herself up uh, to weaken all that energy around her so I think you know you need to take care of yourself you need to nurture yourself and realize physician heal thyself first but you could be dealing with issues within your family circle she also has this beautiful energy about her where she puts herself in the shoes of her court which means she knows how to think they think they tick and how they why they act the way they do so then she can creatively communicate with them on their level and that you might be doing as well with people around you the page of wands shows up with beautiful opportunities opportunities and messages that say you know what you've got opportunities coming into you you just need to follow your path and open those doors to opportunity keep your mind open to things that could be coming into you different that you might not have thought you might want to have got involved in so this could be you know you stepping out there being able now to be in charge of what it is you want beating to your own drum uh, definitely being able to see opportunity come in towards you and it could be opportunity in the form of uh, of a new job a cur your career uh, your where you work anything like that I think um, it is a page of wands and this is all about activity moving forward progress uh, and advancement now you do have this final card here coming in for the beginning of the week and that is the six of wands that's victory after hard work and struggle that's rewards for what you have put out there for what you've worked hard for for the efforts that you've made so if you've been nurturing and helping others and mentoring others you're going to find that that will be a success your efforts were well paid off and you know also these opportunities presenting themselves coming in the beginning of the week are going to bring you rewards as well so you know you can sit there she sits there on her throne uh, and hold you know holds her staff there and she's she's happy she's getting uh recognized and rewarded for all the hard work and effort that she's put out there some of you could be receiving a degree a scholarship an award um uh you know maybe you're getting um a raise a promotion anything i think that could be coming in towards you here in an opportunity and you're going to be rewarded for what you've been doing this is beautiful so you know your beginning of your week is starting off very positive now moving on into the middle of the week or the energy that you could be feeling right now past present and future energy you do have the four of wands you have the moon which is a pisces energy <clears throat> and you have temperance so the four of wands is all about celebration and if you're getting victory after hard work and struggle and you're receiving uh, accolades and you know a pat on the back for something that you've done almost public recognition why wouldn't you have this reason to celebrate it could be the accomplishments that you're making right now that you're celebrating but it also can be harmony and happiness wanting to share a celebration with family members and colleagues and people close to you um, I do think that you're going to find joy coming into your week we started off with that so you know I do think that you're going to be able to see happiness coming in um, also you could be getting an invitation to some sort of an event here 
uh, that could be, you know, something coming in towards you in the form of a celebratory event. It could be the announcement of a birth, a, a commitment, an engagement, uh, you know, a housewarming, anything. It could also be the fact that you're succeeding at something and you're celebrating that. Um, you know, you have the moon, as I said, the moon is the energy of Pisces. Uh, go with the flow here, but trust your instincts and your intuition here. You have enough information to find out what you want. Sometimes the moon is about secrets that are going to be revealed at the most opportune time. So something's going to surface here. I wouldn't worry. You could be worrying about a situation, but trust your instincts and your gut feeling about something. Do your research. Maybe you need to delve deep and find something out uh, that's going to put your mind at ease. Take your time because the temperance card says here, um, you know, don't go rushing in, don't overdo, over obsess, um, and take your time going. You could be going back and forth, juggling something here, trying to make it, trying to find something out here. Uh, but I do believe that if you take your time and plan your move, uh, you will be able to see success coming in with the temperance card. The temperance card says, step back, think about what you're doing, uh, and do things in moderation. <clears throat> so you do have reason here to celebrate and I think you're going to see the light because you the moon is your crossing over energy here which is saying that you know you're going you may be doing research here to find out uh, the opportunities that you have coming into you and what you can accept okay coming in uh, towards you at the end of the week you have the nine of wands you have the three of cups again celebration and you have the five of cups so I, I don't want you to back down here. You could be feeling here that, you know, you're crying over spilt milk. You could be nostalgic, thinking about past situations and events in your life that left you feeling lack and loss, or you're thinking about that, you know, they didn't work out in your favor um, as, as you had wanted them to. But you know what? That's history, and it's all a learning curve for all of us. We've all had those moments where we look back and we go, yeah, I wish, but, you know, hindsight uh, I think we look back and we say, you know, that must have been meant to happen. It was the perfect time that that should have happened because it's opening opportunities for you to go in a new direction. So don't delve on it. Don't obsess about it. And don't um, think about the past too much. Let it go. Wipe the slate clean because this is crying over spilt milk. It's history. It's done. There's nothing you can do about it. And learn from the experience and to move forward. You, you may have to feel as though you have to defend yourself here again. Um, and you may feel that, you know, you're being pushed to the point where you have to defend yourself and what you've created. And that's good because you have resilience here. This card is resilience. And that means you're bouncing back from something that left you feeling this way at a lack and loss and, you know, a disappointment. Now you're fighting back. You're saying, uh-uh, not going to happen again. I'm stepping up into my power. And because you've done that, you're going to have reason now to celebrate with those around you. Again, celebration here. Wanting to move forward. Seeing something working out in your favor. I mean, you've got the four of wands here. You've got the three of cups here. Definitely celebrating something beautiful here this week. Taking your time. You've got rewards coming in from the hard work and effort that you've put yourself through here so i really do believe you're going to be able to see um you're going to be able to see uh, fruition and abundance coming in this week this is great okay let's clarify some of these and see what's happening here scorpio so definitely stepping up um some of you may be uh, you know healers and having this ability to want to take care of other people of service uh or even just family members but make sure that you don't uh overextend and wear yourself out you need to be running on all your engines here to help other people um i think you're looking at situations in a more compassionate understanding manner here and uh I, you know, this is a great reading. I wouldn't worry so much. Um, I think, you know, you have to let the past go. You have had your disappointments in the past. I know, Scorpio, and some of you have moved on and you had, you struggled with that, but you have done that. And now you're moving on in this beautiful new direction. Okay, coming in behind you for the beginning of the week, what have you got? You have the Knight of Swords. So fast-moving action. You might have to act on something very quickly. Um, this could be an air sign coming in with information for you that is in the form of you've got to get going, you've got to come and sign something. You could be getting a call or something, a letter or an email from this individual as well. This could also be your Knight in Shining Armor, an air sign coming in towards you that wants to sweep you off your feet. Um, be careful, um, you know... Uh, this could be very fast coming in. Also, I want you to be careful when it comes to signing any legal documentations or correspondence that you could be life-changing. Uh, you don't want to slip up and make a mistake. Read between the lines, okay? Because this is fast-moving energy. 
<clears throat> now, coming in, I don't want you to rush through it. You have to act on it, but don't rush through it. Look what you've got uh, in the center uh, position here for the middle of the week. Uh, and, you know, you've got the Ace of Cups. That's all about being able to feel joy, surrender to it, being happy. Maybe you're celebrating a commitment here. Maybe somebody's stepping forward with their hand in love and affection, attention, respect, and appreciation. Um, this could be new love coming in. This could also be a renewed love that maybe had got a little stale and stagnant and now you're, you know, you're getting that zippity doo dah back into that energy of the love. But this is emotion. This is beautiful card saying your cups are filling. Know that you have a new beginning here and that some of you are going to be finding some support from someone who cares very much for you on, on a heart level. Coming in at the end of the week here, you have the page of cups. So here we go. Here we go. Page of Cups is coming in, and often the Page of Cups can be... Now, you could have an air sign, too, but I think this is more, uh, um, you know, the Page of Cups, a water sign, Cancer, uh, another Scorpio, maybe, and a Pisces, uh, possible energy coming in. And know that they could look younger, act younger, be younger, have that youthful energy about them. And um, you might feel at the time, mm, I don't know, what are people going to say? You know, if they're younger, you know what? I always say, don't allow yourself to be dictated and your happiness determined around other people's opinions. That's theirs, this is yours. So I think you might have a beautiful distraction coming in towards you. Some of you might be meeting somebody new, or you might know this person, and the relationship is going to the next level here. You could also be promoting... Uh, or uh, dealing and uh, communicating with a youth, uh, someone young here that's coming in uh, that you can collaborate with on a very nice level. Keep in mind that, you know, it's always depicted here that he or she carries a fish in a chalice. And you know that the first sign of fear or being spooked, they the, the fish swims away. So this could be a short-lived relationship that you're going to have a distraction with. And I would enjoy it for what it is. Well, my beautiful Scorpios, this is your reading for this week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to because, you know, you've got celebration coming in here twice. You've got victory after all the hard work and effort. Yes, something isn't meant to happen right now, uh, whatever it is, but count your blessings because often it is a blessing in disguise. It doesn't mean it isn't going to come to fruition uh, eventually right now. So I think you've got reason to enjoy uh, things right now and the energy of this week. And all because you stuck your, to your guns, you didn't give up, you didn't roll over, you took your time, you did what was right for you. And I see you're going to have a great week. Okay. Let's all stay safe, play safe, and be safe so we can all see each other again. And know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Many blessings and much love, my beautiful Scorpios.